Hi there, welcome to one last final video of Silent Hill 2. It's going to be a new game, it's going to be the sub-scenario, Maria's story, born from a wish. Normal will do. When I woke up, I was all alone. Everyone's gone. Is it because of those monsters? What do I do now? Do I fight and live? Or do those monsters get me? I don't have any reason to go on living. But... But I'm scared to die. I'm so afraid of pain. Should I... run away? I want to find... somebody. I don't like being alone. Is there anyone left alive? Yeah, I think there might be. I think he's probably looking at himself in the mirror right about now. What's this? Revolver bullets. And more. Okay, I have a revolver. Not bad. Something else? Ah, health drinks. Okay, getting uh, ready to go out into the world of Silent Hill. Now, of course, with Maria, we know how it all ends. But we don't know where it begins, so that's the point of this. We find out where Maria came from. This is looking vaguely familiar. No, actually, I know exactly where I am. This is... This is Heaven's... Was it Heaven's Night? Uh, this door? It's locked. Well, that's because you have the key. Or the keys. Right, okay. Do I have a map? 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 Do I have... I do have a map. And I am in Heaven's Night. Okay. So, we all know that James meets Maria for the first time in Rosewater Park. So, that's where I've got to go. If I can't leave Heaven's Night through that door, I'll have to go th through the other way, out the other side of the building. I'm just wondering why I have a revolver. I'm fairly sure in, you know, the actual game, Maria doesn't have a gun. Yep, here we are. Oh, oh, hang on. What? What is this? We got... <laughs> That's a Chinese cleaver. And a first aid kit. Well, the two go hand in hand, I suppose. Chinese cleaver, wow. Nice. Probably won't ever use it, but it's nice to have it, I guess. Now, whereas I completed Silent Hill 2 the once, or I suppose the twice now, I think I've played this three or four times, because it's really quite short. I can't go that way, as you can see, so what I've got to do is... I'll show you on the map. Sort of like James did once, go down Carroll Street, then down Randall Street, and then up Munson. And then I think I can go past Jack's Inn and then make it to Rosewater Park. It sounds too easy, it sounds too good to be true. I guess we'll find out. I... I, I'm not sure, actually. You know, if I, when I pass the hospital, I'll try and go in. I'm not sure if I can, though. Uh, what have you seen? Oh, it's another health drink. Might as well pick it up. Um, this would... Oh, this is the hospital. Here we go. This is Brookhaven. But there's nothing for me to do here. At least not yet. It's in the basement of Brookhaven that she dies for the first time. But she somehow makes it to some sort of cell underground. You've got to be wondering if this woman is actually real. So it's this way. Just like the, uh, the, uh, the normal game. 
I'm just going to run away from most of the monsters, especially out here in this fog well. There's so much room to manoeuvre. Let's see then. I... Uh, hang on. Where, where am I exactly? Oh, I'm just still in the middle of Rendell Street. Okay. I, I don't really remember exploring this place in the, in the game, but that's probably because it was all dark, wasn't it? It was the other world. It was pitch black, nearly. Keep it on the lookout for any ammo Ooh, or health drinks like that. Every little helps. Okay, pretty soon there is going to be a turning and I can go up Munson Street. Now, in fact, here we go, yeah. Keep away from those guys. Stay on this side of the road, might as well. This Cat Street. Yeah. Uh, no, I don't think there's anything down there. You know, I've got a pretty good memory of this scenario, to be honest. I think this is probably going to be a one video thing because this this sub scenario is very short. I can probably get this done in less than an hour. Ah. Oh, there is something down here, though. Revolver bullets. Okay. Well, this is blocked off, so let's have a look. There must be another way. I can definitely get through here at some point. Ah, maybe that alleyway? It's worth a shot. Whoa! Ah! Oh, this door! This door! Yeah. Okay, this is new. Yeah, this is new. This is new. Uh... Someone's around. Wait. Oh, crap. I'll just leave that one wriggling in the corner. Uh, what the hell's that? Oh, just a, just a corpse. Can I go inside this building? I can. Alright. So. Haven't been here before. This is a big place. I... Don't have a map for it yet, though, so... Uh, hmm, where do I begin? Up here, I think. Alright. What about this door down here? I'm fairly sure there is a map, and I get it pretty early on. Uh, it's not on the table or on that chair, is it? No. Okay. Um, well, it must be through the double doors, then. Right. Okay, there's a save, that's nice. Some stuff on the table for me. Not a map, but a, uh, a first aid kit. And revolver bullets. Oh, I think I see the map, actually. Right over here. Here we go. Yeah, so it's two floors. This is a really complicated uh, house, or well, it's a mansion. The Baldwin house map. Okay, the Baldwin's house. Let's have another look at the map. See exactly where I am. The living room. Well, let's start at the south and work north. Okay? Sounds reasonable. Uh, oh, what is this? The fireplace is boarded off. Do not use is written on it. So it is. Huh. Okay, let's try this door. Lock is broken. That door's just locked. They are the only two doors that go south, so maybe not. Maybe I'll go north to south then instead. Yeah. All right. Maria has seen something straight away up the stairs. Ah, revolver bullets. Of course, Maria doesn't have a radio, so if there are enemies nearby, uh, uh, there's no static or anything. Lock is broken. Okay. I don't think there's a door under there, so let's go upstairs.
All right. Another locked door. Is somebody there? Open up. Hello? Stop it. You're disturbing me. <gasps> Thank God. I finally found somebody. Can you open the door? No. But why? <sighs> Is it really necessary for me to answer all your tedious questions? Yes. Oh. I didn't know that. I want to be alone. Other people just irritate me. I just want to see another human face. Do you know what's happening in this town? There's no one here. Just monsters. Yes, I know. But, so what? It has nothing to do with me. No one here means there's no one to disturb me. You want to be alone in this insane asylum? Yes, exactly. But, how can you say that it's this town that's insane? Perhaps it's we who are insane. Both of us, hopelessly insane. Are you satisfied? Would you leave me alone? My name is Maria. What's your name? Hemingway? Baldwin. Ernest? I'll be back. Not exactly Arnold Schwarzenegger, but sure. Okay, I uh, think there's two more doors in here. Let's try this one. It opens, okay. Alright, oh! Okay, this house is infested with mannequins, at least. Alright, so there's two doors. There's a health drink at the end, actually. I'll grab that first. Uh, let's try the door at the end. Okay. Go across. Uh, another door, which is locked. There are quite a few locked doors, I've noticed. I'm going to have to try and keep track of them all. Okay. I'll try the other door in this hallway, which I think should also be unlocked. Yep. <laughs> okay, and uh, uh, she's seen something. What is that? Oh, yes, of course. That would be a board. It's a white board. Okay. I'm going to want to find another one of those. Maybe, maybe two or three more of those, actually. But that's it. That's it for now. Let's have another look at the map just get my bearings. Okay. Uh, maybe I can go through that door and head to the sun parlor next. Um, if not, I think my only option is to go back downstairs. Hmm. So this door on the right, the lock is broken. Right, so where do we... Now I'm confused. I thought I knew this, this little scenario. I thought I knew what I was doing. There must be something downstairs I missed. Wait, oh, oh. shit. What was that? Was that, a, was that a gunshot? Ernest, Ernest. 
Hang on. Is that him? Ernest? Are you there? No. I guess not. That doesn't sound too good. Okay. Nevertheless, I think I may have missed something downstairs. Wait. Somebody's running around down here. Yo, yet. Yeah. Oh, ah, oh, it wasn't a gunshot. This was what I heard. This falling to the floor. Somebody was hiding here? For some reason, there's a ladder in the fireplace leading up. Along the way, I can see something that looks like a hole. Climb the ladder? Yeah, okay, sure. Why the fuck not? Okay. Where am I now? Some sort of roof garden? Right. Okay. I'm in that little area. So the ladder is the only way in and out. What have you seen, Maria? Ah. It's another board. And there's another one right next to you. There's a red board, a white board, and this is either a blue or a black board. It's a black board. Okay. Um, for a puzzle that I believe is here. Let's have a look at this. Alright, so there's a key. And there's a square depression in the center of the tombstone. And above that is a carefully carved epitaph. Along with you died joy. All that remains is despair and a future of meaningless tomorrows. But I will never give up. One, to see your beautiful smile again. One, to beg the blessings of the gods. I wait for that day. When the boards cover all, all sadness too will be covered. But until my dreams return to reality, I will have to swallow all the pain. And there's a key firmly embedded in the stone, beneath the depression. No matter how hard I try, I can't pull it out. Well, I think you can see where this is going. The only way I can get that key is to put the boards into this little uh, this little depression here. And I honestly am not quite sure how. I believe they can be rotated. It's not just a simple case of putting them um, on top of each other. I will put the white one on. Right, I put the whiteboard into the hole. I didn't actually have a, a, a chance to rotate that one. I think I get the chance to rotate the other two, though. Now, on each of the three boards, there are holes in various locations across the board. What I need to do is to insert them into the depression uh, in such a way that when the three are on top of each other, you can't see through to uh, the depression at the back. Uh, oh shit, uh, I, I, I believe two of them are inserted normally. I think it's the third, or maybe it's this one, that I need to rotate. But it doesn't really matter in which order you put them on, so... Let's just assume I've got it right, and I need to turn the third one. I put the blackboard into the hole, okay, so I've got the red one to put in. Alright. Uh, is it worth examining this one? Let's have a look. Oh, um... Oh, <laughs> I guess all three of them had something on the back. But this one says, When the crimson words are found, I shall dedicate this thing. O oh, you gods deep in slumber, grant us fortune eternal. Now, this one has to be turned, I believe. It's not just a simple case of putting them all in, just as they are. I'm going to turn it 90 degrees to the right. I put the red board into the hole. I don't know if that did it. I don't think that's right. The board has been inserted. Open holes on the boards are overlapping. I can still see the other side. That's not good enough. 
Okay, um, remove the board. Yeah, I'm going to have to. I removed the red board. Good for you. Board has been inserted. Remove the board. No, let's try twisting it the other way. I think that was why I was messing up. I just got it around the wrong way. So let's try it 270 degrees, really. There you go, I think I've done it. You can't see through to the green background. Right? Right. It's all been blocked up. The key came free. Excellent. Yeah, it's pretty easy, really. Uh, I got the Acacia key. Whoopee. Where the fuck does that go? There are so many locked doors. I don't know which one is which. Um, well, first of all, let's go down the ladder. Okay. There is a locked door here, isn't there? It's not that one. Um, there was one up by Ernest. In fact, there's two up by Ernest on the, the second floor. So it's got to be one of those. It's not that one, so it must be the one through here. I think it's this side. Yeah, it's this side. Good. All right, then. Let's try this door. Lock's broken. Fair enough. Uh, it's quite dark. There is a door here, though. A door that is open. Oh, uh, oh, child's room. What is that? Matches, matches in a child's room. I'm okay with that. Shelf filled with fairy tales and other children's literature. I'm sure I've never read this, but somehow it f seems familiar. Okay. This calendar is from ten years ago, November ten years ago. Okay, there's uh, toys here. Nothing very interesting. Oh, wait, what? What did he say? What did she say? She said, oh, something. Damn, I missed it. A doll is sitting on the chair. Now that I look closer, it's filthy. Whoever lived here must have really loved this thing. I dragged it through the dirt. Small bed for a child, yeah. I don't suppose I can go into the closet sort of area? No. Okay. Let's leave. So, uh, what happened to the kid, then? Wait, what's this? Well, whatever it is, I can't get through it, so let's just leave that. And try this door. Oh, good. You know, I think... I think if you're curious about Maria and you want answers, this is probably just gonna... Oh, no. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What the fuck? Okay. This is probably gonna give you uh, just more questions. What the fuck is going on? Can't see shit. And I think that's the problem. I think that's why I picked up the matches. There's a candle here, isn't there? Right. Let's let's use the matches. Only two or three matches left. But I could use one of them. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So, what's all this? Is, oh, there's a book here, isn't there? Oh, there is, but I can't, I can't look at it. Uh, a box. Something over here. A pile of junk from the spot. Yeah. Doesn't look like there's anything useful. Okay, there's something up here, I'm sure of it. Yep, I think I found it. Under the chair. What is that? A birthday card. To my dearest daddy. Happy birthday. From Amy Baldwin. Right. So who do you suppose that daddy might be? I'm thinking... I'm thinking it was possibly Ernest. Ah, fuck it, I'll spoil it for you. It's Ernest. So, if I can... I think I give it to him. Give it. Give it. 
Okay, there's no one up here. I'm hearing things, but then you know that's that's pretty normal. To my daddy. I guess that's Amy then. Let's head back. Whoa! <laughs> that actually surprised me. Ah, oh, why don't I have a radio? This is a maze of a house. Chish! <laughs> Just like that. Okay. Ernest. Oh. I thought I was going to slip it under the door. I honestly did. What? What have you seen? Health drinks? Where is he? Oh, she's looking at something. First aid kit. Damn, it's foggy outside. That book. I Oh, I can read the book. What is it? A book here. A plant encyclopedia. The acacia. A genus of evergreen trees of the mimosa tribe of the pea family. Its tiny flowers are yellow or white and grow in clusters. Common varieties include the gum tree. The acacia tree is a potent symbol in many religions across the world. In Christianity, it represents eternal life and more morality. In ancient Egypt, it represented purity and rebirth, while in ancient Babylonia, it was thought of as the tree of the goddess Ishtar and was a symbol of life. It was also a holy tree to the ancient Jews, who built the sacred Ark of the Covenant from it, and for whom it signified a peaceful death and a release from grief. Great! <laughs> And he was he was reading that, I guess. There's a clock here. I guess it's broken. Hmm. Okay. I guess he went through here. Oh, not these bloody things again. Little bugs. She's looking down. They must be on the I'm gonna kill every one of them. A shot between the eyes. Ah Stamp on it. Ah, just fuck you. Okay. So, hang on. Let me have a look at the layout again. Where am I? I went through the lounge, which is where he was. Can't get into the lavatory. Maybe he's in one of these guest rooms. Let's reload first, though. Um. Uh, oh, well, hang on. Now it's unlocked. Oh yeah, of course. That's that's another door, isn't it? That was the other locked door. Uh, guest rooms. Oh, <laughs> you got me, game. I didn't see that one coming. Lock is broken. Both locks are broken. It must be this door then. It is. This leads to a stairway, and there's someone around. Going down. I'm going down again. I'm going down again. Right. I'm gonna kill whatever the hell that was. Mannequin. Lying thing. Lying. Yeah, one of those lying figures. I think they're called. Okay. So we got this door. Lock is broken, and this one, which opens. Okay. I. I am. Seriously getting confused at this fucking house. <laughs> I need to have another look at the map. Okay. The main kitchen. Sure. Sure. I'll try the main kitchen. Never mind. Okay, let's just go. What have you seen? Oh, there's something here. More revolver bullets, of course. It's a long, bloody corridor here. Something? A mop and bucket, but I don't really feel like cleaning anyway. Oh, here we go. Health drink, revolver bullets. Health drink. I don't need this much stuff. Something here? No? 
Okay. Uh, this way. Lock is broken. Alrighty then. You know, the, I don't remember as much as I thought I did. Wait, what's this? There's another save. Another locked door. What about this one? Or do I have to go back? No? No, this one's unlocked. <laughs> well, there's something there. Or at least there was. Oh, I think there still is. Wow, that's dark. I can, I can barely see a thing. Yeah, I think it went down. Yeah. Alright, alright. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, sure. Hang on. I think there's... There's something this way as well. Yep, it's a mannequin. Or it was a mannequin. Alright, so... <laughs> I'm so sorry for doing this all the time. But this is confusing the hell out of me. Okay, I'm right next to the playroom, the bathroom, the study, and a dining room. Right. Okay. I'm right. I'm that. I'm through that door near the entrance hall. Makes sense. All right. I guess the study. Yes. All right. What we got in here then? Uh, that book. Yes, that book. I can examine that book. What is it? Lost Memories. Oh, great. I have the strongest trust, you may even call it faith, in the miracle called Resurrection of the Dead. Upon the hill where the light descended, the beast intoned his song. With words of blood, drops of mist, and the vessel of night, the grave became an open field. The people wept in fear and joy at the reunion, but my faith in the salvation of... Zuchilpaba <laughs> did not waver. What? It is also spoken of in the ancient legends. The original worshippers did not believe that death was the end, but that it was simply the path by which the deceased returned to nature. They also believed the process was reversible. There's something imprinted towards the bottom of the page. Uh, did Ernest write this? Blood equals red, mist equals white, and night equals black. What's Ernest doing? Do you know a little girl named Amy? Why do you ask me that? This letter. To my dearest daddy. It's from a girl named Amy Baldwin. Your daddy? Yes. Where'd you find that? Up in the attic. Oh. What a fool. Now. It's too late. I finally understand why. <laughs> why she was there. Why she was holding that empty envelope which she, which she fell. Ernest. Amy. She isn't... I'm sorry. I'm sorry I reminded you. No need to apologize. You didn't remind me. I've never forgotten. Maria, some things we forget, and some things we can never forget. It's funny. I'm not sure which one is sadder. It's been ten years, but I still... Ernest, I'm sorry. I didn't know. 
No, it's, it's fine. Maria, that letter. I'll leave it here. Thanks. Must be. That's why. That's why you could see me. Huh? So perhaps that means that I can hope for a miracle as well. What do you mean? In the apartment next door. There's a bottle containing a white liquid. I don't know exactly where it is, but I know it's in there somewhere. I must have it. You... want me to get it for you? Please. Why don't you just get it yourself? If I could, believe me, I would. But I... White? I'll open the stairway door. Ernest, do you really believe it will work? I don't know. Well, that's okay. I don't mind fighting for an impossible cause. Anyway, it beats just giving up and doing nothing. Maria, thank you. All right, that's the spirit. All right, okay. Uh, uh, Maria's seen something. Uh, Amy's present to her father, Ernest. Found with a birthday card. Oh, right, I just, I just left it there. I didn't even know I was carrying it, but yeah, cool. Okay, let's go get this white liquid. In the apartment next door. Now, he said he was going to unlock a door for me, somehow. If he's stuck in that room, I have no idea how he did that. I am guessing it's this one. Because if it unlocked that one, that's not the stairway door, is it? It's, this, it's definitely this one. Very strange. You see what I mean about uh, getting more questions? Sort of learning a little bit more about Maria, but all of a sudden, who the hell is Ernest? Who's Amy? What happened? What's going on? There you go, he unlocked it. How did he unlock it? Okay. Okie dokie. Alrighty then. Oh boy. Wait, what's that? Uh, or some kind of plate. Amy Baldwin. She was loved too much by God. Seven years was not enough time. Wow, okay. Alright, there's bugs down here. Oh, yeah, oh, fuck you. I'm just gonna run. Ah, oh, mm, oh, maybe that was a bad idea. <laughs> oh, yes. Another one? No? Alright. I think I'm through the worst of it. Uh, and up these stairs then. Alright. Must be one of these doors. Okay. This one. It's this one. Now, he said the apartment's next door. Oh, Jesus. Oh, fuck. Ah, oh, I'm gonna have to start killing some things. Look at this. Keep out of haunted mansion. Haunted mansion. Okay. Oh, there you go. Uh, 
There we go. Alright, so the apartment's next door. Through here, I think. Prepare for another strange sense of deja vu, because this should look very familiar. I'm entering the apartment complex through what will be a locked door. I think it's on the ground floor, this white liquid I'm looking for. I don't think I have to go upstairs. Might as well take care of this guy. Right. Okay, I'm, I'm assuming I don't have a map of this place. James got the map. Or at least he will get the map very soon. He's probably in the graveyard talking to Angela right now. Alright. Uh, there's a few more doors. <laughs> Fuck him then. Lock is broken. Sure, 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 sure. Our lock's broken too. Crap, must be the other way then. Okay, oh shit. Right, uh, did I check that one? Fuck. I probably did. Let's just take care of this guy though. Don't want him following me. Yeah. Oh shit! I can die. Right. <sighs> so that's where I came from. Of course, so... This way? Yep. 105. I'm looking... Oh, yes! The room with the bureau! And there's something on top of it. White liquid. A tiny little vial of white liquid. Something is written on the desk, but it's too dark to read. Well, no point in reading it twice. We know that James is going to get through it, right? Ah, look at this. First aid kit. Health drink. Just to satisfy my curiosity, is there also a save point? There is. Cool. It's all matching up. Alright, well. Really simply, I just need to go back to Ernest. Give him the white liquid. Back into the haunted mansion. Uh, hold on. Yep, someone's about. Never make it easy. All right, bugs. I'll see if I can avoid you this time. Well, that went well. Oh, you sons of bitches! Damn fast. And damn annoying. Almost kill me once, shame on you. Almost kill me twice, I'm an idiot. I could flood the floor with the health drinks, so I've got to drown them. I didn't try this door, did I? Doesn't matter. I... Yes, up here. Of course. I think I've just about learned the layout of this place. Most of it, anyway. This way? And then the, the study is, is through here. Mm, this door here. Right, okay. Ernest, I have your white liquid. Do what you gotta do. Thank you, Maria. That's the only item I couldn't get myself. By the time I found out about it, I could no longer leave this house. So long. Yes, but will... Maria, the gods are here. You know it too. You were born in this town. I'm not sure God is the right word. Do you believe in fate? Not really. That's fine, then. Ernest, can I open this? This is a dead end. 
there's nothing beyond here. I know. So, what if I had said I believed in fate? That James, he's a bad man. James. for the you that isn't you. Because he's kind? Do you know something? Yes. Maria, you're... Anyway, that's just what you think. You don't really know anything. That's fine. Okay. No, you're not. Do I look like your girlfriend? My name is Maria. Well, there you go. That was Maria's little side story, Born from a Wish. 
nowhere near as good as the main game, of course, but it does it does answer a couple of questions. I believe it raises a few more, though, with the introduction of Ernest. I, I don't know if he was a ghost, or I think there's an argument for him being a representation of, of James's subconscious, like a lot of other things. I'm really not so sure. But now you know as much as I do, so you can make your own conclusions. Now I've completed Born From A Wish and the main game, it means that I'm actually done with Silent Hill 2 now. I will be doing Silent Hill 3 at some point, but for now I think I'm going to take a break from the series and do something else. As always, thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. Comment, rate, subscribe, that sort of stuff. And, you know, just, just have a great day. I don't know why I'm giving you a thumbs up, you can't see it. Oh, not another one, not another weird enemy. Open the damn door. Ah! Why? What? <laughs> I don't like this game anymore.